Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and I'm here with some Rayman Origins on Nintendo 3DS. Now, I'm just going to record a little bit of gameplay. I'm not doing a uh, Let's Play walkthrough on this channel, although myself and Kieran will be doing one on Nintendo Blogger. So, I'm um, just going to have a little quick gameplay, do a few little gameplay videos. Now I showed you a bit of the first level, about half of it in the uh, unboxing, so we're just going to try and complete that off. Now I've um, had a few problems recording with a few corrupt files, so it's taking me a bit longer. If you want to check out the um, Let's Play and see how it progresses, we'll have that up and running. Oh, I don't know, in a couple of days or so maybe. Here we'll do that. So we need to try and collect as many lums as possible. And uh, this first level is pretty easy stuff. Although if you're a bit careless like I am, you can still easily die without too many problems at all. Oops, no, I haven't done a very good job there, but never mind. I can get an extra lump for jumping on their head, and I've missed another one as well. So what I need to do is just make sure I've... there may be another one. Is there another one down there? No. I think we've got those ones. So, oh, a bit slow there. So into the background we go, and on to the next bit. Whoops, just tread on the little red bits at the top. Now you just got to just do a little jump, and there we go. Your little friend is free. And that's the first little section pretty much done and dusted. You can also now attack with a bit of a bit of an X punch. So there we go. And your different characters have different moves when we get there. Anything down there? I think there might be a little no. I think that's it. So let's move on into which ter territory. And uh, here we go. This is uh, quite a nice, easy thing to collect here. And we can progress quite nicely across here. Just being careful I haven't missed anything along the way, which I tend to do. There's loads of secret areas. And if you've played this game before, you'll already know that. There's loads of things that you can miss quite easily. And, uh, obviously, it just takes longer to progress through the game. The more stuff you miss. But it is very easily done. Oops. I really want to be climbing up a bit better than that. Oh, no, you did it again. Oh, no. I definitely didn't want to do that. Okay. That was nearly a disaster. Okay. I'm just going to check. I don't think I can get up there. Like I said, there's a ton of hidden stuff, and uh, it's easy to miss. That's a pretty easy coin to get, even for me. So, we've just got this little bit to do now. And uh, we're through this little gameplay. It's actually the first section of the game, as I said. I 
not going to do a let's play on this, it's a pretty big game actually, so it would take an awful long time as well. I've missed a jump there. So, it's just a case of uh, getting across here. Two ways of doing it actually, and I failed again, dearie me. You can jump on a rocket if you want. You can get the platform, we're going to go for the platform. I actually landed on the rocket, there you go. And just free our little friends there from the cage. So there we go. And that's the end of the gameplay. We're just going to watch the end bit. Just gives you a little idea. You can see the graphics. Um, are very, very good. Still retain all the... Uh, originality and colours and everything, it's all pretty similar. Obviously it's, they're not as good as on PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, Xbox etc. But they are still very good. And uh, the sound's really good as well. And the game's excellent. Apparently a lot of people think it plays a little bit slow, which it might do. I will test it against the PlayStation Vita version for speed. And we'll have a look at that. So that's it for this video, and this has been Tim at the latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.